if you come across a patient even with mild tricuspid regurgitation it's a great opportunity to get a trace through that regurgitant jet so that you can estimate your patient's pulmonary pressures and risk of pulmonary hypertension. In this video I'm going to show you how you can do this from multiple views. My goal here is to get the tricuspid regurgitation jet from any view that I can. So from my right parasternal long axis view I'm going to just turn it into a four chamber and now I can see the tricuspid valve more clearly and I'm going to put my colour over the tricuspid valve and I can see a little bit of a jet not very significant regurgitation but it's enough that I could try and get a trace now with my continuous wave Doppler I'm going to align that as best I can with the direction of the regurgitant jet. And I'm getting a partial trace here. It's just a little spike because I'm missing most of it. So there must be another view I can get this better in. So I'll turn to the short axis now. And I'm at the basal short axis. And I want to try and get a nice view of the tricuspid valve. So I'm putting colour over the tricuspid valve here. I'm going to centralise it a little bit so that my continuous wave Doppler beam can go straight down the middle of my screen to really optimise that angle. And now I'm going to put that down through the regurgitation. And this is much better. I can already see I'm getting a much stronger trace here, much denser waveform. So from my apical four chamber view, I could put colour over the tricuspid valve now and I get a little flash, but it's not great. So I really want to make the right ventricle the focus of my view. So I'm going to slide it across, keep the apex of the left ventricle still at the apex. I'm just making the right ventricle more of a focus of my view here. I'm making sure I don't open up the left ventricular outflow tract because if I do this, I'm going to catch that in my tray. So I want to make sure that's closed. When you come to measure your tricuspid regurgitation jet, you're just going to go to the peak. So don't imagine it to be greater than it is. And try not to measure the feathery bits right at the bottom. You're going to go to the, the highest velocity that you can truly see. And in this cat, it's 1.9 meters per second, which is a pressure gradient of 15 millimeters of mercury.